Today I'm going to show you how to set up ArtRage using the docking mode. Hi everyone, Steve Elliott here. I've had a few requests asking how I set ArtRage up in the docking mode. So I thought I would go through that with you. Um, it has become my favourite uh, way of working. This is in ArtRage 5. And as you can see, I'll go through how I've got it set up very quickly. Down the left hand side, I have a toolbox. And in that toolbox, I have um, all the brushes and palette knives that I am going to use within a, um, a type of painting, whether it be watercolour. I've got one set up for watercolour, another one set up for oil paints and so on. So uh, that's the first thing. Um, I'll talk about that a bit later on when we're setting it up. Then I have presets. Now that's important because I can uh, choose a brush, for example, like the Delicate Wet in Wet, and I can put paint on, but I can also change things very quickly by changing the thinners and the pressure and the loading. Uh, put the pressure up. There we go. So I've got full control over any part of the brush and that's all uh, at the fingertips and then uh, below that I have the tool picker and that's useful because um, if I want to ch uh, just choose something different uh, say for example the eraser I can click on the uh, eraser that's the pastel where's the eraser gone here we are and then uh, I've got the pastel, uh, I've got the eraser to choose from. I notice my presets change for that. So that means I don't have to clutter up my toolbox with um, things that I'm going to have in every uh, kit, like the erasers. And then over on the right hand side at the bottom, I have the actual presets. So I can choose different types of erasers. So I can have an hard, hard edge instant erase or if I'm sketching a kneaded eraser so um, I, I, I jumped the order there just to show you how the tool picker fits in with the presets I suppose I could put those on the left hand side but if I do that the settings I've got if I choose a different setting with a lot of options it will just push it off the screen so I've decided to put that on the right hand side then I have, uh, coming back to the top on the right hand side, I have samples and um, anyone that follows me knows that uh, this is really important to me because I um, always work from a palette. I like to um, use colours that are um, I've selected before I start so I have a good idea of what that painting is going to look like. So there's my uh, palette. You can see I've got a lot of sort of muted colours going off here. But then below that, I put the uh, colour picker. And the reason I've you, you said, why have you got that if you've got this uh, colour palette? Well, sometimes I will uh, choose a colour and then on the picker, I can adjust the uh, tone so it becomes lighter. I can put more colour into it. But it's still saying, staying predominantly that colour just uh, tints and shades of that colour or pure colour. And then below that I've got layers so I can create a new layer so I can paint over something. Uh, and I've got full control of layers and then I say I've got the presets. And then hidden, so I need to use the um, scroll bar. Right at the bottom is the reference so I can load in reference images. And I put that at the bottom out of the way because once I've loaded up a reference image, I, I don't need to see that again. So there you can see I've got access to all the tools that I'm going to use when I'm painting. And also um, I've got a nice big painting area where I can see the all of the canvas. Nothing is in the way. There's one other tool that I need to add actually. So, and that is uh, the... Cam uh, sorry, not the canvas settings, the uh, canvas position, canvas positioner. Uh, I like to use that, I prefer that uh, to using sort of touch 
control really. So I can zoom in, I can rotate, and I can to click, I can get it back horizontal again. So that's my preferred way of um, zooming in and out of the picture. And then I can use the mouse. Uh, sorry, I can use the uh, mouse, the um, pen to position the canvas by clicking one of the buttons on the pen and moving that around. So that gives me full control. So that's my full setup, and I, I love it. Uh, the, the other thing is I'm working in dark mode as well. So I've set all of the um, palettes to, to dark. I find that less distracting when I'm painting. So let's go back and see what this would look like in um, the traditional, or what do they call it, the classic mode. So there you can see, that I'm now in the classic mode, and I'm also going to change off the, uh, switch off the lights out option. So that's sort of the default toolkit in Art Rage, and you can see it's overlapping the canvas. I haven't even got a reference on yet. I haven't got all of the um, all of the palettes visible, so it becomes cluttered. So that's why I like to work in the docking mode. So what I'm going to do now is shut all of these down. And then I'm going to go back into docking mode and show you um, how I set that up. I'm, I'm going to open up layers actually and um, delete that one because it's annoying me looking at that and clear that layer. That's it. So that's like opening up um, a brand new version of Art Rage. Um, let me turn turn off this positioner as well. So that's pretty much what we've got. Let's go back into docking mode. So you choose from view, interface mode, and then you select docking mode to activate that mode. And now you can see all my palettes have disappeared. So let's start bringing them back in. The first thing I need is um, the toolbox. Let's get that in. So it's remembered my toolbox, which is cool. Now, it took me ages to work out how to dock these things. So when you dock your first one, you're sort of moving them around. You think, how do I dock it? Well, you see this um, when I click on the panel. There's a little black square with a rectangle in it and an arrow. You just drag your toolbox or whatever panel you're working with onto that. And then that becomes docked. After that point, it's quite easy. So then I want my settings. Uh, so I go to view again. Settings should be in here somewhere. Uh, tool, pick, color pick, tool settings, here we are. And then I can just, at this point, I can just drag that anywhere onto that um, side panel and it will automatically dock. And then I want my tool picker view tool picker so that's cool that's my left hand side set up I then go um, back to view again and I want color samples here we are and again, this time, I have to, the first one, you have to drag it over this little black square with a rectangle and arrow on that. So I've got my samples. I want my color palette. So color picker, I guess that is. Yeah, color picker. Drag that in. Fantastic. Uh, let, then I want layers. 
is in layer panel. Pop that on there. And then presets. Tool presets. Here we go. Stick that in. And then finally, I want a reference. Here we are, the reference panel. Put that at the bottom. And I'm going to go to now the canvas position and choose my canvas positioner and put that there. So that's my um, tool. Doc, sorry, that's my docking mode now set up. I've got one more thing to do. I go to view, interface mode, and lights out. So I've got these nice grayed out menus. And that's it. That's now all set up in the docking mode and ready to start painting. I should say one other thing. Quite often I'll be um, looking for a sub menu. Say I want to load a new um, color sample. I will select that and, and, and load a sample, but sometimes I will press the wrong icon at the top and click the, um, the little rectangle with an arrow on it, and that pops that out. So to get that in, you just move it back to the position where you want it to go, and it will put it back in there. Uh, so it's not too difficult. One other thing I should say is um, if you quit Art Rage um, inadvertently or it crashes, this will not be saved and then you have to set it up again. So um, I'm actually going to exit Art Rage now and see what happens. I don't want to save the painting. Oops, I've got loads of other stuff open there. Let's go back to Art Rage. Oh, that's cool. So as long as you quit it, it will open up um, back, ready for you to start painting. So that's it. That's how simple it is to set the docking mode up for um, starting to paint. Oh, the other thing you'll have to do every time you um, open a new painting, you have to load your toolbox in. So to do that, you choose the um, menu option, load toolbox, and I've got them in tool presets. And I've got, you can see I've got a custom oil, Steve Art bin, which is like I've got everything crammed into it. Same with the watercolor bin, but the ones I'm using uh, is the custom watercolor one there so I just open that up and that just populates that so you will need to do that every time you open a new painting so that is it I hope you have found that useful um, if you have a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing I have uh, lots of videos all about digital painting and I'm looking at uh, lots of other projects as such as tutorials and painting like the masters and i would love to be sharing those videos with you so hopefully i'll see you in the next one bye